Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is a rather impromptu or improvised video. Um, I'm sorry about the quality. I'm filming with my trusty but rather limited GoPro so I shall not be able to focus uh, close up on these devices. Anyway, long story short, I intended to gather more feature phones, more strange, quirky, dumb phones for my collection. But really, upon my visiting the flea market, I was only able to get these three odd looking characters, the Blackberry Pearl, the Nokia 6600 and the Nokia 8210 each from a different class and era of the smartphone or the phone rather because these two are smartphones this are these this is a dumb phone or a feature phone this is early 2000s these are this is late 2000s this is also late 2000s all of them are pre android touchscreen era but anyway let's get on with the presentation if you will because there's not much of it and I'll briefly explain why they don't seem to work all that well. So the least impressionable of the bunch the Nokia 8210 which is a rather striking looking little beast at the time of the launch it was supposed to be the smallest if or maybe one of the smallest devices out there smallest gsm phone and you can really see how this should be it it didn't offer much in terms of features no color screen no true tones no polyphonic tones even no obviously no video and no apps to be um installed in this in this i remember that the only feature you could add to this phone post buying it was to uh, compose your compose your own theme songs or pre-register uh, themes from Nokia or third party I don't know how that worked you send an SMS you were charged and when you received back an SMS you got some sort of key uh, combination which resulted in a specific or bespoke ringtone that wasn't offered initially Sad to say this uh, striking looking device is in pretty good aesthetic condition, at least internally, but the battery is dead and swollen. I wasn't able to revive it, so I don't know if it works or not. Also this outer, um, outer battery door cover thingy and the, um, the, this, outer uh, casing uh, is not original I can't remember if these are removable or not let me just quickly look so yeah this is the Expresson uh, model of the Nokia lineup so you can remove the the outer housing and you can see this reveals the the buttons and the innards of the phone though sad to say these ones are not in very good condition they still seem to work but they're not bound together unfortunately I'm not able to start up this phone so I'll leave it at that and put it back the way it was let's quickly move on to the Nokia 6600 which again this was one of the golden era symbions now uh, as you can see this is in a rather sad looking estate i intended to revive this phone because it's very interesting to see the features that it has to offer but the aesthetic condition is well beyond repair really this is not an express on device so you can't really uh, remove the cover uh, the battery door is not original to the phone though it is a pink OEM Nokia variant and you can even start it up though it's missing one key here let's see I don't remember which key starts it up so I'm just going to shuffle along them randomly pressing the most important keys ah 
there we are all nokia's seem to have a top button for starting on so this one works it has a few lines on the screen uh the menu is okay i don't think it's locked in any gsm um, uh, network though sad to say half of the keyboard doesn't work and one key is missing so yeah not the best choice <laughs> to uh, review a device therefore i am showcasing them all together so yeah well not we're not gonna set the clock but okay the okay key seems to work though not the other ones if you can see i'm pressing really hard on them and this one on the bottom right corner doesn't work at all the ds key or whatever this is though it seems to want to go into menus this is a great example of a symbian smartphone it didn't feature a touch screen quite predictably but you could install quite impressive programs or software third-party software on this this technically made it a smartphone though a rather archaic one compared to what today's offerings are nevertheless we shall put this down and switch over to the blackberry 8110 pearl which is a rather beautiful pre-android smartphone it offers this uh, semi qwerty uh, keyboard design blackberries were renowned for their qwerty keyboard designs this one has a rather half key qwerty the keypad uh, i reviewed uh, another hp with this type of uh, keyboard the, the um, you can see the link here somewhere i'll just add it now in terms of aesthetic condition this one is well it's not bad but the paint has peeled off quite a lot along the sides though the the chassis and the battery door seem intact though this is a later model battery which is a bit uh, taller than what the phone should hold so consequently you can see here it doesn't close down that well i took this one from my 8520 curve uh, phone just to test it sad to say it's i think it's in great working condition though it is blocked and uh, you, somebody has entered the the password eight times incorrectly therefore i don't want to risk blocking it completely i saw some tutorials on the web which are sort of grayish legal so i don't think you're supposed to do this but nobody's gonna you know figure you for a thief of an old blackberry device nobody cares about these anymore they're not of monetary value um i don't think i have the time i mean i i know i don't have the time uh and dedication required to thoroughly uh check how to unlock this fun fact about this blackberry it offered this trackpad instead of a multi-directional d-pad which gave it the pearl um designation the moniker because you see this rolling ball is actually a selector and well it sort of re resembles a pearl though you can see it's slightly translucent uh well it's not that bad actually i remember being able to clean these ones because you can open them up fairly easily easily they sort of clip on with this yeah i can already dismantle it this is a well this is a piece of a bezel a decor trim or what have you and inside there is a, the actual uh, trackpad which you can remove easily with a set of pliers or whatever i'm not going to be doing that since i don't have any tools at hand but 
you can see that it's fairly easy to clean. Sad to say, uh, I planned this video quite differently. I hoped to make a series of my flea market findings and to present, him, to present them to you on a weekly basis. Though really, look, I didn't lose any money of these. I got this one for three euros, this one for an equivalent five euros and this one for four euros or something like that. So in total, I spent less than 15 euros on all these things. Really, I do think they're worth the money, uh, but you really need to uh, handle them. And, you know, somebody needs to pay attention to uh, what they need. This one needs a battery badly. This one honestly could be used for spare parts and this one should be unlocked i don't really care for them i just wanted to have you know material to present to review on the channel i'm sorry if i have disappointed you with all these sad to say i don't think i will be featuring them anytime soon but anyway that's been my uh, my video of this week Hope you have found it somewhat enlightening or funny in a quirky sort of way. And uh, I guess I'll see you soon. But don't forget, I buy weird quirky tech so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.